My name is Jocelyn and I have been a vegan for just over a year now. So it definitely wasn't an overnight switch for me. I actually first became a pescatarian, meaning I didn't eat meat, but I ate fish still. So that lasted about a year and then I decided to cut out all meat. That lasted another year and then January of 2018 is when I became full on vegan. So the reason why I first started cutting meat out of my diet was for health reasons. So in my family, high cholesterol and high blood pressure is hereditary. So meat is very high in fat and cholesterol. So I decided that I would just eliminate that completely from my diet. When I first became vegan, the main struggle was finding products that were in fact vegan. So a lot of the simple things like granola would actually contain dairy ingredients just because of the flavoring. So it was more of just like a means of reading the ingredient list. So I have to be mindful of, for example, the makeup that I'm buying or the clothes that I'm buying to make sure that it's not leather or doesn't contain any animal products in it. For example, chapstick is something that I didn't really think of before being a vegan. Um, but now I don't buy products that do have beeswax in it. So that's something I have to check. I mainly have to check the ingredient list for a lot of things I buy, but I don't really mind because I like knowing what's in whatever I'm purchasing. The environmental side of veganism is also super important to me as well. Today we are facing a pretty big environmental crisis and animal agriculture is a huge contributing factor to that. So that's another plus of being a vegan. So health-wise, I feel like there's a big misconception with veganism. I feel like a lot of people think that vegans are protein deficient or iron deficient. Being protein deficient is pretty unlikely for a vegan unless you're living off of only bread, which most aren't. I don't think most people do that. Um, so it's really easy to get your protein as a vegan. Iron as well is pretty easy as long as you're eating healthy, which you should be on either diet. I've actually gotten my iron tested and I'm fine. I've never actually been anemic. Going in for food with my friends can sometimes be a bit of a struggle just because the majority of my friends aren't vegan. So we, a lot of the restaurants that we go to are like meat restaurants, which I don't really mind. I can usually look at the menu beforehand to figure out what I can get. And the main part of it is going out with my friends anyway. So the food that I'm eating isn't really that important to me. I don't care if my friends eat meat in front of me either. Um, I actually do work at like a rib house. So that doesn't really bother me. For me, the ethical side of being vegan outweighs the struggles that come along with it. So even though I can't eat all the food that I used to love, it's not really something I like stress over or think too much about just because it doesn't even really seem like an option to me at this point. It's not something I don't ever think, oh, I just wish I could have some chicken nuggets right now because one, I haven't had them in like three years and two, like you can find an easy vegan option for it. I think one of the stereotypes of being vegan is being super extreme and radical and always making people aware of the fact that you are vegan. I don't really think it's about that. I don't even think necessarily everyone has to turn to like a plant-based diet completely. I think we should all work towards incorporating more plant-based foods in our diet, but I don't think that everyone necessarily has to cut it out. Again, like I said, I do work at a meat restaurant and I do understand that a lot of people are going to continue to eat meat. I just think at the rate we are going at, maybe could go down. But overall, I feel like a lot of people are shifting towards incorporating more vegetarian options into the diet. And I think that's all that really needs to be done. Like, I don't think we need to completely cut it out. Some tips for people who are curious about becoming vegan or incorporating more plant-based meals into their diets is to do your research. Um, one, to do your research to figure out you're actually still getting all your nutrients that you need. It is pretty easy to do. You just have to make sure that you are hitting all those points. Um, and it's pretty easy to do the research as well. There are a lot of documentaries out there, a lot of articles that you can read, or you can even go talk to a dietitian if you really want to. It's definitely not something you want to do overnight. There are a few cases of people who do that, but I feel like for the most part, if you are going to do it overnight, you're just not going to last. It's, I feel like it's something that you do need to put your time and your research into, and it's easier to do slower cuts so it doesn't feel so extreme. Overall, I don't think that vegans and non-vegans should be at war with each other. I think at the end of the day, as long as we're encouraging each other to make healthy decisions, both lifestyles are compatible with each other.